Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the world of dragons. Everybody get out here, Buggers, Tornado, Tarzan, and brand new Fire Dragon Magma. The whole squad's here. If you guys have missed out on this series, this is easily one of my favorite maps I have been playing on the second channel. Over the past couple episodes, we have been collecting so many super custom, insanely powerful dragons. And if you guys know me, I love myself some beautiful dragons. The first dragon we got was Boogers, and I named him that because he has a giant nose that Boogers constantly fall out of every single day. 24-7. It doesn't stop. Last episode, we also did manage to tame one of the most powerful dragons, Magma the Fire Dragon. Uh, we also have Tarzan the Jungle Dragon and Tornado, my personal design favorite, the Air Dragon. Uh, there's also these little tiny cute dragons that fly over everywhere, and I can pick them up and put them on my shoulder, even though they do get kind of annoying. Stop following me. Stop, stop. Little baby dragons, stay away. In today's episode, we are definitely going to be trying to get the Ice Dragon or the Earth Dragon. I have haven't decided yet. I need to see which one is better. But in the meantime, I do need to get myself some saddles. Might as well go ahead and get two. One for our fire dragon magma and one for our brand new ice dragon. As you guys can tell, I did a ton of grinding with the dragons off camera. It is so easy to get emeralds now. We also should probably get ourselves a dragon upgrader. Let's go ahead and get two just because I have so many emeralds. One, two. There we go. A couple of you guys were also commenting that there is a brand new dragon type. So let's go ahead and get the Ice Dragon Totem. We might as well also go unlock the Earth Dragon Totem because we're eventually going to be getting that as well. But if I go right to the end, you will see there's been a brand new update with a Dark Mystical Dragon. I'm super excited to get that. If you guys do want me to go get it, please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and punch a like button in the face with your uh, dragon. I don't know if anybody has any pet dragons. Maybe you have a hamster named Dragon that you could just have him tap the like button with his little tiny hamster paw. Let's go ahead down to the Dragon Hall, where we should be able to get a good idea of where each island is. So Earth Island is on the opposite side. It looks like Ice Island is in the top left. Buggers, please stop putting your snot on my face. Thank you very much. Over here, it has the Dragon Statistics. So we have Ice Dragon, which is pretty balanced when it comes to the stats. And then you come over here to the giant Rhino Earth Dragon. This dude is big. He is bad, but he's also kind of a little bit tubby. You can tell by his speed right here. It's uh, it's, he's probably one of the slowest dragons. And that is other than Boogers, whose stats, they speak for themselves. I still love you, Boogers, wherever you are. He sometimes gets lost in the dragon cluster because he is the uh, smallest. But it looks like it is getting nighttime, so we need to go ahead and locate the ice dragon lair. Any ice dragons over here? So that's the fire dragon. I believe it was over here to the right of the fire dragon aisle. Oh, wait, I haven't been up here before. An enchanter. Whoa, this seems sweet. What's up, dude? Oh, okay, I can buy books. Lapis. Bottles of enchanting. I do indeed have 23 levels, so I guess I could go ahead and enchant some armor later in today's episode. In the meantime, though, I do want to get myself some dragons, and I also just remembered I forgot to give Magma the brand new upgrades. Uh, let's see, we should be able to plop the dragon upgrader in there, which makes him a little bit stronger and a little bit bigger. We also have dragon armor, and last but not least, the dragon saddle. I think I should also let him hang on to the different dragon totems just in case I die. There's pretty much no chance that our giant beastly dragon dies here especially since he's a fire dragon and is one of the strongest ones. But since the ice dragon was super balanced, I think it would make a great addition to the squad. And the next episode, I can get the earth dragon and maybe see if I can find where to unlock the dark dragon. Now, in order to unlock this dragon, I need to find the activator. Now, if I was an activator, where would I be? Ice doesn't really have a smell. I was going to go ahead and give it a little sniff, so I don't think that's going to be useful. I might as well try it anyway. <sighs> Okay, it just smells like dragon farts. It seems like the entire island is a huge ice mountain. So if we go head over to the top of this bad boy, we should be able to get a better idea. Uh, oh, what, what? Hey guys, how, how's it going? Let's test out our dragons real quick. Oh my gosh, there's so many different types of fires. Yeah, that's right. You should probably run. I think he jumped off the edge because he got scared. All right, buggers, let's get the flip out of here. If you guys did miss that on the last episode, we unlocked the fire dragon. And on that island, it looks like there was a volcano. This looks very similar, except it looks like a very dormant, icy volcano that hasn't been active in so many years. Now, there obviously are people guarding it down here, so we need to be super fast. Hello, I'm the bud the home. My name's Jack. I'm selling Girl Scout cookies. Just kidding. I don't have any cookies to sell. I mean, I do have cookies, but I would never sell them, even for $1,000. Well, Boogers just swat-tot-bobbed. He's going in. That's what I'm saying, guys. Boogers is an absolute psycho, but I love him. 
Okay, there are spawners down here, so we need to be super quick. Let's go. One down. Oh, the activator. We actually found it first try. Let's go. Okay, we'll pick up these extra little coins, which I can then use to upgrade dragons later and get some more loot. Hey, 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 little dude. Oh my gosh, okay, not little dude. I need to upgrade my armor ASAP. These guys are starting to get more and more difficult. That's why I have so many dragons, though, so they could just take care of business. Like, uh, I'm taking out the trash after I eat a lot of cookies and there's a lot of wrappers. Let's go ahead and feed everybody. Okay, tornado is full. Burgers, obviously could always go for some rotten flesh. Let's make sure magma's okay down here. Magma could definitely use some food. Oh, wait a second. We have some lapis over here. We can use this instead of buying it from the merchant in order to enchant ourselves later. I need to make my... Oh, all right. Yeah, I guess everybody's just showing off. Um, Please don't burn each other in the face. Let's go ahead and grab our ice dragon activator there we go ladies and gentlemen that was sweet as you guys can see in my inventory we now have the activator which goes right along with my other jungle activator the air activator fire activator i'm pretty sure i threw away the boogers activator there's really no reason to have two boogers flying around one is good as it is since we did come in from the top let's go search around and see if maybe we could find any other useful materials oh wait it you literally just come right up to this thing and that's it now i'm still not sure also where where the dark dragon could be located. I'm not sure if maybe I have to defeat every dungeons. There could also maybe be a magical island that's not on the map. It is called a dark dragon though, so I'm assuming they're not going to just go ahead and tell me where it is. But let's go ahead and make sure that we clear this entire island of any lagged spawners or anything that I missed. We also have the dungeons, which uh, fighting dungeons is fun. It just takes forever. Before I go fight that dungeon, I do want to go ahead back to spawn and get myself the beautiful brand new Super Frosty Ice Dragon. If you guys do have any other name suggestions for my Ice Dragon and also the Earth Dragon that I do want to get, please let me know by dropping a comment down below. All right, Tarzan, let's get the heck out of here and let's go get ourselves a brand new Ice Dragon. I really hope it doesn't freeze me to death. That happens with my other Ice Dragons. Don't worry, citizens of Cookie Dragon Island. We are back. We are unscathed. Every dragon has survived. I'm pretty sure they all hate me because I have been slowly and steadily spawning in dragons and they're not used to it. They are only used to having tiny baby dragons and then i brought these giant tubbies along with me no, no no i'm not talking about you guys i'm the tubby one all right please don't get mad at me anyway let's go ahead and put our dragon totem in here uh i forgot i gave it to magma hello magma i need to go into your chest thank you boom shakalaka ding dong we have our shelves the activator let's plop it in there let's do oh no do i put totem yes i put totem in the totem chest that should hopefully dispense it behind me we have summoned the ice dragon. This is so beautiful. Okay, we have ice dragon. Super frosty particle effects. This ice dragon egg looks absolutely magical. The last part is to go in here, grab ourselves the totem activator, and let's do it, ladies and gentlemen, in three, two, one. Ice dragon. Oh my gosh. This thing looks amazing. Hold up. We need to make him bigger so you guys can see. Wow. Oh my gosh. He's getting massive, and he's still going. Let's see. Hold up. Everybody back the heck up. There is no way to get these dragons to sit. Everybody, hey, you sit. No, no, stop. No, don't, don't eat. I need you to sit. Okay, this is getting a little bit out of control. Let's go ahead and shift right click on our brand new Frosty the Snowman dragon. It looks like it has a giant head made completely out of an ice block. Actually, I'm pretty sure the entire dragon is made out of ice, but if we go ahead and, uh, oh wait, I forgot. Uh, magma, I need the upgrades. Who the heck put you in charge? Boop, bop, beep, got him. Hey, hey, get back. What? No, no, no. I'm gonna get you confused with the new ice dragon, for sure. If you guys would just please do me a favor and not look so alike, that would be super useful. We have that. We have dragon armor, and now we have a beautiful saddle. I should probably leave the different dragon activators with the dragons, and apparently that is illegal. This guy looks amazing, though. Okay, I need tons of name suggestions down below in the comments, but I do want to test out, now that I believe I have five dragons, uh, we should be unstoppable. The best test is over here in the arena just to see how quickly they can do it. Last time at the end of the episode, I believe they took out the but orcs and goblins in maybe 10 seconds. So let's see how they do in three, two, one, monsters. Okay, we have monster there, uh, dead. 
dead and dead. That was three seconds. Hold up, maybe it was a fluke. Let's try it again. In three, two, wait, what? I can't. Is there more monsters still? Hey, did we miss a monster? Everybody, everybody do a little sweep. No monsters here. Any monsters behind this? Nope, no monsters. Anyone in this cage? No, still no monsters. Hey, little thing, can I? Oh, yes, okay, I can summon him more. There we go. We have one, two, and I think there was a third, but he's already dead, and that guy's already dead. My dragons are starting to scare me a little bit. I believe other than beautiful little weird-looking boogers, my dragons are the most overpowered dragons in existence. At the very least, they are the most beautiful-looking dragons in the world. Each one, I love how they just have different models and textures, especially the giant magma dragon. This guy looks so, so scary. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a great spot to wrap up today's episode. We made so much progress. We have a brand new ice dragon, and next episode, we should hopefully get the last two dragons. If you guys do have any other uh, questions about this series, about new dragons, also if you could tell me where to possibly get the dark dragon, let me know by dropping a comment down below. That is gonna wrap it up, though. My name is Beck Bro, Master of Dragons Jack, and I will hopefully see you guys all back again here tomorrow for a brand new video. Peace out, dudes.